This is a film taken at the E.A. Bryan reunion, and it is being narrated by Registrar Emeritus Frank Barnard. This film was made about 1937. Color film had just arrived and was not well made, with the result that all the colors faded out. The film is still sharp and clear. Ina K. Bryan was my boss for eight years, and I knew him well. He was president for 22 years, starting in 1893. At that time, the going wage for college presidents in the state of Washington was $1,800. There were four buildings on the campus, three of them small. Bryan was a dynamic individual and a real fighter. Everything was against him. The west side of the state had the population. There were only four high schools in the state, which made it difficult. While the University of Washington was an old institution, it really did not grow until Brian came here and people found out what it meant to the west side of the state. The farmers of the east side were small in numbers, but when it came to a showdown, they made themselves felt. These are all people who worked under Brian. This is George Grimes, Vice President Kimbrough, Dean Cleveland, Sophie Roberts, Dave Rouse, Superintendent of Buildings, Mike Snyder, yours truly, Doc Bowler, Miss Hunt. W.C. Krugel, Joe Ashlock, Al Perry, Assistant Superintendent of Buildings, Wagner, Morris, Head of the Heart Department, Culpitz, Cope, Todd, Hicks, Brewster, Durstein, Miss Meinhardt. This is the picnic. Everybody is lined up for food. Dr. Bryan looking out the administration building from his office. Another picture, the same position. Dr. Bryan at his desk. Brian Hall. 
very interesting picture because this is a low elm that Dr. Bryan brought from Indiana. It's a large tree now. Entrance to the Bryan Hall. front of the gymnasium, the old gymnasium, the athletic field. Residence, residence. Another picture, Dr. Bryan's residence. Five arts. This has been removed. Front of the campus. <laughs> 